what is up children of the Commonwealth, it's Papa Jellybean. Today Papa Jellybean has a tale for you, a tale of a small little settlement, a small little settlement that gained wealth. Through that wealth, the little settlement grew. What am I talking about? Green Top Nursery, the little settlement that grew. So let's take a look at this growth, shall we? So here we have the entrance. They have a grand entrance. Now what I've done is, there's two levels of guard towers. There's this level here, and then there's that level up there. Now what I've done with these ones on the lower level, is I've got this one facing left. And then over there I have the one facing right. And these ones here, the two up here, they face forward. Kind of trying to give it that 360, you know, degree view. And then what I've done down here on the little lower level, is I put in this little water feature. So as we come up to the second level, this is where these guard towers are. Now, like I said, these ones here face forward. Kind of got a, the trees blocking the view. I never realized that. Now, as we come up here, you'll notice the Stanley Hotel and the Minute Maid. Minute Man, not Minute Maid, Minute Man. <laughs> I just had Minute Maid ice cream, so there you go. Uh, this is the rear entrance. So anybody coming into the settlement can come in through these entrances. Or they can come around to the front and use the front entrance. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of cash. So, again, I did it again. I know. I made another large settlement. You know, I'm really, really going to try and make a smaller settlement. It's just that I get going and so many ideals come in my head that I just keep building and building and building. So the first building we come across here is the crafting hall. So you have all your crafting stations down here. And there's the workbench. I left in the description, you'll always find the mod that I used to move uh, the workbench. And then up here, there's a little surprise for you up here. Not only can you display all your beautiful power armor paint job, but we have the work uh, robot workshop. Now that comes from a mod called Settlement Objects Unlocked. What it does is it unlocks all the objects so you're able to get early access to them and be able to put them into your settlement early rather than have to go through the quest and wait. And then across from Crafting Hall, we have the little restaurant. Settlers can come in, grab something to eat, grab a drink. And then right next to it, we have the clinic. So we have the reception area here. Of course, here's the doctor's office. Now I put these in here, and every time I look at these, these are supposed to be regenerative healing stations. How the hell can they be relaxing with those things sticking in your back? Man, I hate getting needles. Can you imagine trying to sleep on one of those or try and get... Oh, that'd be... That's like acupuncture magnified. And of course, here we have the billing office. No torture devices in there. And then here we have the walk-in clinic. 
So I put some of those torture devices in here in the walk-in clinic. Now if you require a longer stay, we have like the little sunroom. Now there are four rooms up here. They all are identical. And then across we have the Minutemen headquarters. Now what I've done, I got a mod on here called Faction Settlements. Now what it does is when you complete certain faction quests, like in the case of the Minuteman, once you do the old guns quest, you're able to put up a flag. I got the flag up on the roof that makes this only Minutemen and people associated with the Minutemen are able to settle here. So you can't have anybody from the railroad, you can't have anybody from the Brothers Steel. If any of those other factions do come into the settlement, they will be attacked immediately. So it, it's kind of neat. You can make all your different, using that mod, you can make all your different settlements. You can make one for the Institute, one for the Minuteman, one. So you can have individual settlements for only for certain pre people. Of course, here we have the lobby. Now, I didn't put any doors on the offices this time. I decided to leave them open. And as you can see, I changed some of the pictures. So there are four offices down here. Now, with this being dedicated to the Minuteman, I've done two floors of sleeping areas. So all the floors are identical. They have a little sitting area here, some bunk beds, some lockers for their storage. And of course, the bathrooms, military, no stalls, no stalls in the military. So there are two floors on either side. There's sleeping quarters, two floors. So lots of sleeping area for visiting Minutemen. And over here we have the bar. Now I brought back my typical bar. Rather be off murdering a pint. With the singing settler and the booths and the lights. So nothing different. And like by using these vendor stalls, I had to put mats behind. So these mats will enable you to assign settlers. But instead of clicking on the vendor stall, you have to click on the little maps. Mats, not maps, mats. Oh, a terrible time. And then, of course, here we have the Stanley Hotel. Now, anybody that's a horror buff like me will get the, under, get the idea behind the Stanley Hotel. So, as you saw when we first come in, there's the entrance leading out to where the stairs are. We have our little check-in desk. All the rooms are numbered. So, there's five five floors with four rooms on each floor so there is plenty of flo uh, sleeping areas now as far as the rooms are they're done up quite simple you have your bed table dresser and a little TV like you would see in a typical hotel room and of course each room has their own bathrooms now this one here I kind of goofed up <laughs> you know you're going to be sitting in that window having a poop and people are going to be watching you. So like I said, there are five floors. And over here, I put in a bathhouse because we have the traveling caravans. I'm just going to zip back here for a little bit. So they're all set up and all that. So what I decided to do was instead of having outhouses, I decided to make this bathhouse so you know that anybody visiting or any of the smart. traveling caravans come in they have, they have this little bathhouse where they can go to the bathroom grab a quick shower and what I've done is I set up the lockers down here so they can put in their personal items 
grab some clean towels and pillows, but I also put washing machines in. So this way here, they can wash and dry any of their dirty clothes. You know, have that nice clean feeling. Of course, we just have your typical bathroom here. Your stalls and some sinks. Nothing fancy. The same up here. Except here we got some showers. And then here we have the four vendors. So we'll just go in here into the weapons vendors. All set up. Like I said, I use these vendor stands. And of course, I made sure I put the mats back there so you can uh, assign a settler to the stores. Then they have just their typical. You know? Nothing really fancy. And these. Terminals, you can use these terminals. They are fully working. Their own bathroom. Of course, like we've seen the other, earlier, this is the traveling caravan area. We've got some cough makers, a soda machine. Of course, we have your farm area here. Do all your farming. And then over here, we have your water purifiers. And, yeah. I mean, at this nice little area for the Brahmin and the chickens and everything. But, guess what? They disappeared. What it, what is it with this game and the ramen and all that? They keep disappearing. You know, you make up these lovely areas, but they keep disappearing. No matter what you do. I even put in, I used uh, filled ramen feeds stations and watering. Because it says in the description that they will more than likely stay with that feed. It don't work. I put up fences. I put up wall, everything. And they just disappear. Now what we have here is the residential area. There is all together there's I think 24 houses. So there is a lot of houses. Now I've gone with the cottage style again because I really really like the cottage style. That and it's easy to decorate. So you have your kitchen, your sitting area, your dining room table. I used red kitchen this first time because I just thought it looked a lot different. It looks a little different, you know. Of course you have the bed. I always put the door the wrong way. I keep having to fix the doors. <laughs> I keep putting them the wrong way. And then we have just your typical little bathroom. So what I did is I've done the wall textures different than the rest of the house. Woohoo! That was nasty. It does that once in a while. It's, it's not a permanent thing. It does get fixed. I don't know why it doesn't once in a Once in a blue moon it does it. Not all the time. But yeah, here is your residential area. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Green Top Nursery, the settlement that grew. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right. Hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.